the Tar Heels kick off this weekend in Berkeley against the California Bears. Go Heels! But there wasn't great news this summer. 14 North Carolina football players were suspended. Was, they were caught. It was 13, was it? It was 13 or 14, whatever the number is. Gotta be exact, um, dude. Well, you know, we'll, we'll, we can double check that. You guys can look that up, but it doesn't really matter. Um, well, the, the big thing it's was... It's double-digit numbers. Chaz Surratt was also one of the people who got suspended. I mean, yeah. when you have a... a QB race between Nathan Elliott and Chaz Surratt, you definitely don't like to hear that one of your top contending quarterbacks is going to be suspended for four games. Yeah, I mean, it's not good news. He started last year, and, and it it begs the question, with, with all the suspensions, we had a horrible season last year, only winning three football games. We had so many games. I mean, still, whatever whatever the fact, the facts remain, you only won three football games. It doesn't matter how many injuries you had, but is is Larry Fedora sort of on the hot seat? Obviously, he's not, on the, he's not in jeopardy of being fired this year, but should he be with all these players being suspended and a not a great outlook on the football field? What do you think? Uh, well, again, I think the least of UNC's worries right now is Larry Fedora. Honestly, what UNC's worries right now are who is going to play quarterback, which the only way this team is going to get better is if we find a starting college caliber quarterback. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the the injuries last year for that season, we don't have to necessarily check that out for Fedora. He hasn't really gotten all of his recruits in yet. We had a good recruitment class this past summer. It was like 26th overall. It wasn't great, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. But, um, yeah, I mean, the leadership, you, you start to question the leadership when you have 13 guys selling college uh, distributed apparel. Especially when one of them's Chaz Surratt. Yeah, you're a potential starting quarterback. So it's definitely not a good look. But, um, I mean, we I think Larry Fedora is fine. But, I mean, what he really needs to be worrying about is who's going to be under center which is looking like it's going to be Nathan Elliott. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't hit the panic button yet. I think you have to give Larry Fedora this season. He, it, It's embarrassing when you have 13 players get suspended for selling shoes, and some of them are getting four games. That's, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of games that you're missing. And they didn't perform well in the football field last season. And I think we'll know this year whether it was last season a fluke because of injuries or was it, Fedor is not as good of a coach as we might think, or maybe the talent isn't as good. I will say this, David mentioned that it's the 26th ranked recruiting class this year, so he's bringing in pretty good talent, not top tier talent. He got seven four stars, which I think, considering last year, I don't even know if we had a single four star on that team that we got last year, but I mean, we've got seven four stars, obviously you'd like to see like one five star, but UNC's not really in the running for that yet, but the fact that we have seven five, four stars, and uh, a bunch of solid three-star athletes, uh, which it shows me Larry Fedora is at least pushing us in the right direction. There's also the fact, and, and you also mentioned this too, they need to find someone at the quarterback position. Um, you know, I'm not sure if, if Nate Elliott or Chaz Stratt is the answer, and they've been getting, look at, if you look at the seven four-stars, offensive guard, wide receiver, wide receiver, wide receiver, offensive tackle, and two other quarterbacks. So. They're trying to give the quarterback the best possible situation to succeed by giving him tons of weapons on the outside as well as protection up front. And then they still have two four-star quarterbacks. So I think this year you might have to be a little bit cautious with Larry Fedora. I don't know if it's going to be a great year because of the quarterback position. But if those two guys who are the four-stars don't work out after that and it's Cade Fortin and Juice Rudder, Cade Fortin was the 18th ranked quarterback and Jace Rudder was 24th. One of those two guys doesn't work out with all the talent that is now around the quarterback position with these four-star recruits. Then I think you have to look at Larry Fedora and say, is he really the coach that is supposed to lead UNC? Because he's an offensive guy. I mean, obviously, like he, I don't know if Larry Fedora really knows what defense is considering all, four of the, all seven of these four-star players are on the offensive side of the ball. I don't see one damn defensive player on that four-star list. And, and and you and you go back to the future when they had Mitch Trubisky and they had Marquise Williams and they were able to put points up on the board. They were a good football team, but they weren't great because of the defense. And now he can't even get a quarterback in there that can play football well and, and score. And I think that's an issue with Larry Fedora. We'll see this season. I think this season will tell a lot 
but the season after next, I think if it's not a great season, if they're, if they're not winning nine or ten games, or they don't look vastly uh, improved, then you have to... a bit of a stretch well, for you, you have football, to, I mean, if you want great football, you have to expect it, and... I mean, and if, 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 Larry games, Fedora, if Larry Fedora only ends up with four wins this year, I'll say he's going to be maybe on the hot seat. If he ends up, I think a realistic goal for him the season after next is to get seven or eight wins. If he well, gets seven or eight wins, let's, let's,